Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers! Hey, maybe we should ask Hugh Bliss! Mind readers? That's it! No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors? No. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it. Morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Biv is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the commissioner. The commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, Commissioner, I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat! By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The Commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines! Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon. Feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm. Yeah, a wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see, indestructible magical talisman. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it. You might break it. Oops, it's not held down very securely.
Here, Max, hold this. I meant in your hands, but whatever. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. We understand. Okay, go ahead. Hey, small worlds. It's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Superball. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. I love them all. Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologists may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Harder. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller! Draw, partner! Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations? Hmm. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him Horny. You do that. So long, Super Bowl. Hey, Super Bowl, want to look at my unicorn? Have you achieved level red yet? No. Then no. Hey, Max, want to pet the unicorn? No, thanks. I took care of that before we left the office. Hey, Harry, want to rub my unicorn? No, I'm not that desperate yet. Where are we headed now, Sam? Terra Firma. Hey, Sybil. Want to rub my unicorn? We have people who do that sort of thing for us now.
Sam, without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. They were going to vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshank's exiled for treason, remember? Hey, Jimmy, want to touch my unicorn? Eat it! No, just touch it. Bam! Hey, Jimmy, want to touch my unicorn? Eat it! No, just touch it. Bam! Hey, Bosk. Oh, dear God. Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. It, 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 he's my son. You're your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Guys, it's me, Bosco. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. Hey, Bosco, want to rub my unicorn? <gasps> I know one way to get horny hot. Success! His little horn's nice and red. Wow! I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist! Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news. My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete. <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo. Outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Outstanding. You're awesome. Now poor Jake's here. This guy really knows how to work a room. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. Ha <laughs> ha. 
An entire planet of prismatologists! It's like a dream! The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right! The best kind! P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you! Look, Max, it's our obsolete computer pals, the cops. They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed Reality 2.0. Destroy! Remember your bliss. Adopt a more positive attitude now. So long, cops. End of line. Hey guys, wanna rub my unicorn? It is a physical impossibility. Yeah, how'd you pass the spectrum analysis anyway? Too many questions! Hey cops. What are you computers doing here on the moon? Prismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed Reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Coming soon. It will rock your world! You came to a private retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial as a video game? Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. In a world where two forces battle for domination of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff. Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Okay, Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? Tick! Tick! Doom! Owned! Mine. I will destroy you! You cannot defeat me! Actually, I just kinda did. Yeah, Roar. By your calculations, your chances of winning were 1 in 10 trillion. The sun was in my eyes! Thank you for playing Tic Tac Doom. We'll continue to look within ourselves and improve our award-winning AI to make it even more challenging. It was too short, and not hard enough. I want my money back! Please try again later. Hey, Featherly, want to rub my unicorn? Pennyworth! That's not the part I expected you to object to. Hey, Lincoln, want to rub my unicorn? Never mind. Look, Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you two. 
Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are ya? I can still bite off your fluffy little... Uh, I mean... Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. Bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade-A sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade-A? <laughs> I'm flattered. Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening so fast, I don't know what to say. Not you, moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Hello. If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Civil pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, you've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. I said, I'm so Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? Uh, all right. Damn. Oh, well, you're pretty foxy yourself. And I happen to love foxes. All right, maybe I'll give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple beers, get some poutine. You know, the usual. Oh, Abe. I never knew you had such a deep appreciation for my culture. It all sounds wonderful. Come over as soon as you can. Was that... Did she actually say yes? Hello! You just totally scored! Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Lincoln. Oh my gosh, what if she wants to get serious? I can't do this. I'm so nervous, I've got butterflies. I have to ask, where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. Oh, I don't feel so good. What if she... and I can't... Oh, man. And here I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. Hey, Lincoln, can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. It's a lunar lander. So is my Aunt Tilly, but they can't prove anything. Hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Aw, I was saving that! For what? It's complicated, but it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain.
These look oddly familiar. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. Of course. Oh-ho! What's this? I knew you were up to something. Ruining my career with the Toy Mafia wasn't enough. Now you want to cost me this job, too? It must have fallen into my pocket while I was looking at your beautiful ceiling architecture. What Mafia? Don't try that again, or I'll have to get ugly. I guess a lot of people have done it already. Yes, but I always... Hey! What's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the hypnobeam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. <coughs> they really should work on securing this thing better. Here, Max, hold this. I meant in your hands, but whatever. One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Thanks, little pal. You're welcome. Lunar Lander. Got it. Sam? I think the controls don't work how they're supposed to. Oh boy! It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon-bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. Hmm, nothing happened. Hmm, nothing happened. Hmm. 
Hmm, nothing happened. I guess that's not sufficiently spoony. Hmm, nothing happened. Hmm, nothing happened. I don't think it works on people, except maybe if they're shaped like spoons. That never gets old. Hey, cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! Get a lot of this move! Death to infidels! I am invincible! 
Oh, darn. You beat me fair and square. Good game. I totally beat you guys! Our journey of personal awareness is now complete. We have mastered the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. You suck so bad, LOL! Let me try, Sam. I know I can take him. As super sophisticated AI entity... Brother, speak so that the primitive Earthlings may understand. Of course. We smart, you dumb. No more need look within self. Hey, can we take this? Congratulations! You've won free tickets to self-awareness. Cool! Effects are limited to those of Plumius' composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may be inappropriate for some viewers. Oh. Huh. Neat. That was cool. But I hope it didn't hurt the bowling ball. There he is! The jig's up, you bliss. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. He is. You're just in time for the show! Please, no flash photography. <laughs> People of Earth. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. And now, so are you. What have you done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me, and you'll have quite a happy, angry mob on your hands. Not if we... Reverse the effects of the hypno beam? I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Who, oh. me? <laughs> well, I'm... <laughs> I'm flattered, but... No, you wouldn't. Because I'm going to... Drum roll, please. Separate your bliss! Really? What does that even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Hey! Wait, what? Here we go! Goodbye, murderous hand! <gasps> Goodbye, gluttonous stomach! Goodbye, slothful tail! Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul! Bye-bye! Thanks for the hand, jerkbag! I'm gonna use it to shoot you all! <laughs> oh boy, a stomach! Just what I always wanted! Now come here and let me eat you! <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max. I just beat the living vice out of you. <laughs> I'm pure bliss. <sighs> Go away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo shoo, shoo shoo. Go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win. Okay, bye now. Ah. <sighs> Yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes. Mmm, more. Oh, yes. So good. Oh, oh, my. So happy. Max, are you okay? 
Help me grab that ponytail freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytailed freak show. I want to have his love child. No! Max, I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. Hey, Hugh Bliss. Wanna rub my unicorn? Ooh! Maybe later. I think we found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. I feel a nearly irrepressible desire to shoot at anything that moves. That's the spirit. Not me, knucklehead.
Look, Max, that's another one of you. He made it 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <sighs> no TV? Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true. I got nothing. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party. Where are we headed now, Sam? Home. Hey Leonard, how's it going? Hey, looks like your paperwork finally came through. It's the deed to the United States. And it's still moist. You look like you're in a shopping mood. Might you be interested in, say, the United States? Oh, how lovely! We can call it Lower Saskatchewan! What a perfectly delightful name! Yeah, yeah, all right. How much are you willing to spend? Oh, such a grand country deserves a grand price! We simply refuse to buy it for less than 100 trillion dollars. It's only fair! We wouldn't hear of it! That's far too much. I'll handle this, Mr. President. If you insist, Your Highness. Is cash all right? We've been dying to use the new Canadian trillion dollar notes. Is that a picture of Celine Dion? She's a national treasure! That was kind of fun. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice.
How's it going? Silence. I believe I have finally mastered this pinnacle of prestidigitation, the legendary Rat from the Hat. Hey! Oh, uh, I just remembered. I can't stand rats. They're vile vermin. Smile when you say that, Beaky. Beaky? Sheesh. I hate this pulling out of the hat business. Next time, I'll find something better to hang on to. Oh dear, no. There won't be a next time. I shall never do this trick again. In fact, I would appreciate it if you would be so good as to remove the hat from my presence. Sure. More, more juice, more nachos! Holy heaping helpings of high fructose corn syrup. He's eating everything in sight. Bosco, do not freak out. Atta boy, eat up so you grow big and strong. What is the world coming to? Bosco, pasta knobs! Aisle four. Oh, oh my, that one does have an appetite. At the rate he's going, his stomach won't even fit back inside you. I've no need for my earthly stomach any longer, Sam. I'm on Hugh Bliss's cleansing fast of lemon, water, and sunshine. As God is my witness, by the end of this day, you will be eating Coco Nougat Butterballs again. Mmm, something smells good. Hey, are you gonna eat that? Well, I suppose I could share. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great Samini. Hey, let go! What's this I see? Is that my stomach? Give me that hat! Ooh. Hey! I feel all warm inside! Like my belly's a sort of cozy place where flavored popcorn and sugar drinks can meet and mingle! That's my boy. We want to buy something. Goody! Here you go, Bosco. One hundred trillion in completely non-counterfeit bills. Hmm. Let me look at that. Celine Dion? Okay. Looks good to me. Here's your earthquake maker! A remote control? Don't get me wrong, I love TV as much as the next guy, but... It controls my satellite defense system. Only one button still works, though. Just press it for an earthquake. And this adheres, I hope, to all reasonable safety guidelines? Who knows? Oh, one more thing. You have to be in range of the satellite for it to work. All right, where'd you park it? For some reason, I was suspicious of those blessed people on the moon, so I left it up there. How silly of me. Gotta use it on the moon. Check. Thank you, and goodbye, Brother Bosco.
Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. Hey, Pseudo Max, how's it going? Uh, I need your tail for my little buddy here. How about handing it over? Nah. Hmm, uh, uh. he's heavier than he looks. Aren't we all? Let's see if I can get any reception for this thing here. Well... Shame on you, Sam. Someone could have been hurt. I miss you, little pal. I'm afraid I'm going to be needing your tail so I can put my little buddy back together in a Frankenstein-like fashion. Whatever. Sam, what are you doing? You may not want to watch this. Gee! All of a sudden, I feel like watching TV and eating orange marshmallow peanuts instead of doing anything constructive. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. It's so strange. I... Have I been away, Sam? In a manner of speaking, Hugh Bliss split you into pieces, so you've kind of been all over the place. Hugh Bliss. I hate that guy now, with his phony smile and... ...to feel happy happy. What do you say we tar and feather that self-righteous jerk? Good to have you back, little buddy. Time to get ourselves some good old-fashioned payback. And, incidentally, save the world in the process. What are we waiting for? Hurry, little buddy! Get him! Hi! I'm Hugh Blitz! Stop Bl saying that! Huh? Yeah! Uh oh You little idiot! You've ruined my hypno-beam! I should have killed you earlier, but uh, what can I say? I'm too nice! That said... Die, bunny! Wrong! What the? What the? Hi! We're Hugh Bliss! We are a spacefaring colony of sentient bacteria! A sentence I really did not expect to hear today. <laughs> we cannot be harmed by bullets! We only need one thing! To feed! You see, we feed on the endorphins produced by humans experiencing true bliss. So, you don't care if people are happy at all! You just want to eat till you drop! Yes! Hey, I hear that! But you want us to starve! And for that, you will die! <gasps> In the most fantastic display of the year I've ever witnessed! Hey, gotta look good for the cameras. What cameras? Pack your bags, Sam, cause you just won an all-expense pay trip to your grave! <gasps> and you get to watch him die! <sighs> Let the magic begin. Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick I give you, the Rainbow Wheel of Death! <sighs> Yay! Oh, Death! Ah! Whoa! Also known as Emetics, the ride! Oh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> exactly! Throw some daggers! No, hatchets! Hey! Sorry, I got excited. I've got a better idea. I'll just torture him mercilessly until he begs me to shoot him with his own gun. Ah. <laughs> hey, Hugh Bliss. Want to rub my unicorn? Maybe after I kill you. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work again.
I can't do that in this predicament. Now's no time for a chat. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work again. I can't do that now. <laughs> I bet Willie Mays never caught one while spinning on a wheel of death. Hey, Hugh Bliss. Wanna rub my unicorn? After I kill you. <laughs> what? So that's how magicians switch places with people. By magic. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have left that lying around. Way to go, Sam! You did it! Thanks, little buddy. Frankly, I wish it had been a little more challenging. Kind of a letdown. Uh, but... excuse me? Huh? I think you're forgetting something. You forget something? Me? No, I don't know. Oh, yeah. My magic eight ball told me to bring my antibacterial soap today. Why didn't I listen? Next up, the number one magic trick at every prismatology dojo party. It's time to separate your bliss! No, not that. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Until the saw hits you, then you'll die! Gruesome. I love it! Ah. <laughs> 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 Swap all you want. It drives the crowd wild. Hmm. Saw us, Sam! We dare you. Maybe I will. You're supposed to saw me, Hugh Bliss! For my next trick, I present to you... Ticket to Oblivion! The Lunar Lander? It's the Ticket to Oblivion! Enjoy your stay in outer space! Until you die! <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Bye! Bye now! Bye! I'll give the guy one thing. He does put on a good show. This is fun. It's okay, everyone! I'm all right! <laughs> You suck! I heard that. Consider this. A trap so deadly it would cause you to die! That is deadly. It's the cleansing bath of annihilation! Oh, could we skip this one? I kind of have a thing about drowning. <clears throat> oh, let me think. No! Don't drown, Sam! Thanks, little buddy. That's such a boring way to die. Try to get cut in half instead. Thanks, little buddy. demand, it's the Rainbow Wheel of Death! Not again. Oh no! Mommy! I want to get off! <laughs> Bullets won't hurt bacteria. Bullets won't hurt bacteria. Ha uh ha! -uh. Next up... Just We're going to separate your bliss! <gasps> Saw us, Sam! We did! 
dare you! Uh, what are you doing? Just seeing what this saw can do. You dirty mutt! I'm gonna shove that saw up your- yeah. Come on, this is a family show! I wouldn't swear. I'll just kill him some other way! Yes, kids, it's your and my favorite! The cleansing bath of annihilation! <laughs> hey, you bliss! Separate this! Howie, pasteurized! Come on down, Max. You just won the grand prize, a drink of our villain. Hey, Hugh Bliss, see you on the other side! Well, I can't wait to see the souvenir you keep from this case. And with my next number one, I shall give birth to the cult of diuretics! Which reminds me, we've got to go knock out Wizard again. And everyone else on Earth, for that matter. Oh, yeah! Hey, have you seen my boxing glove? I can't find it anywhere. This it? <gasps> I was saving it for a surprise. You're the best friend I ever had, Sam. And you're mine, little buddy. Now, let's go save the world. Stick a fork in, open wide, everyone is Max and Son, full of colorful guts and habits, cryptic work of cryptic rabbits, underutilized impulse control, rabbit rampant junk food, black hole, loopy craving. Rig on a roll, feel his giant feet right in your soul. Mania slot, the reverence excess, gluttony, revelry, violence, and selfishness. Flags of your unfettered, it brashly unfurled. It's a max, 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 max world. Do I when are we going to get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Everyone's a sandwich of naivety and cynicism. Everyone's a salad of disinterested fantasism. Everyone's a walking beaker of potential cataclysm. No, 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 Everyone refracted for a cultural positivism. Stick a spork in deep inside. Everyone is maxified by hypnosis. Or by nature, what's the difference? Just nomenclature. Shake your friends, adorable paw. Careful, love is powerful. Fighting jaws, we're a mix of cop and felon. Wearing hands like ripened watermelons. Mania sloth. Irreverence, excess, gluttony, revelry, violence, and selfishness. This is it, Dan. Uh, where's the food? Uh, surely there's a buffet back here. It's a max, 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 max world. I'm an ongoing project, like a golden calf or a graven image. I'll only rest once people are sacrificing their firstborn unto me. Also, I'd like to direct. Ow! We 
Reality is tenuous, like tied up at the sagging wall. Morality in motion like a squirmy burlap bag of dwarfs. Formality's impossible when all of us are lagomorphs. Lagomorpho, lagomorpho, what the hell's a lagomorph? It's kind of like a rodent, but for minor technicalities. We're garrulously social, anti-social personalities. Our consciences are curiously useless abnormality. By useless abnormality, they're useless abnormality. Our growth of sorts, our growth of sorts, of course, of course, are lagomorphs. Unmitigated, unreserved, unquestionable excess. Larkiness, sharkiness, snarkiness, and selfishness. Lags of pure, unfettered, in brashly unfurled. It's a max, 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 max world. I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. <laughs> Buddy, 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 buddy.